I'd like to introduce a new panic kit framework we have for allowing one panic button to trigger many apps. So you can create a system-wide response. And this will enable people to experiment with all sorts of ideas of what a panic button should look like. There are currently two panic button trigger apps, Guardian Project's Ripple here up on the top on the left, and II Labs panic button disguised as a calculator uh, here on the right. But we also want you, people to make their own apps. So what's your idea? You want a geofence? You want a custom hardware button? Use panic kit to make your own app. Um, we're also currently working on adding panic kit support to lots of apps so that, that it can join in the system wide response. We are starting with the apps that are shown here uh, on this screen. So next I want to demonstrate a quick example of what the panic kit user experience looks like using Ripple and OrWeb. Um, so let's say I've been reading a website that I want to keep private on OrWeb. Uh, I hear a knock at the door and I decide I wanted to hide my private activities. So I go and I find Ripple and I trigger the sequence. Up top here, I push the panic button, I hit the button again, and this time I have to swipe it down and then release. Now I get a countdown. If I tap any time now, it'll cancel. If I let it count down, it will trigger. So there it's triggered and it's also triggered OrWeb, and both apps have been wiped from the history entirely. So they're not running anymore. They've um, OrWeb has forgotten its history, and there's no app showing in the, in the recent apps. Um, so now, if I go back to OrWeb, you can see that it's uh, starting with the default Check Tor website. Uh, so that's that's the core idea here is that apps should respond by hiding or locking or sending messages or whatever is most report most appropriate for that app that is receiving the message. So um, back to Ripple, I want to show how you can configure another app. So Zom is an app, a messaging app that has a lot more options. Um, so I just click, I enabled it there, and I uh, clicked on. Um, the edit, uh, so it, which brings up the screen in Zom uh, that shows all of the uh, options, you know, locking, deleting all the data, or even sending a message. I click OK, and next time I do a panic trigger, it'll also do what, send Zom the trigger, and Zom will respond accordingly. Um, now this works both both ways. I can go inside of Zom and see that I'm connected to Ripple. And there's also, I can change the panic settings and, and that link is represented in both apps. Um, so that's the core idea. We hope this to see a lot more ideas of, of how we can make system-wide uh, panic responses in Android.